when we decided to buy this generator and all the feasibility studies were done, we realized that it would take a lot of time and money to put it in through the ship's side. So we tried to work out whether we could put it in through the skylight or not. And this involved a lot of measuring and a lot of um, feasibility studies. <laughs> And we eventually got down to saying that it would be possible, and uh, we went ahead with it. Now, we needed to get a crane from ashore, and we hired a crane which has a 55-ton capacity to take this 11-ton generator. But even so, it uh, cannot take 50 tons every, 55 tons everywhere. And it was at the very limit of its extent just to put it in through the skylight. And this is where it went, and this is the way it went. We came and put it in through the skylight here. And this is the skylight on the ship facing forward, and uh, this is aft over here. Well, not facing forward, sorry. This is the forward direction here. We had to put the generator from outside right into the very depths of the ship. A lot of preparation was needed. We needed to weld special eyes over here. We needed to get these chain blocks, which were provided free and tested free for us, which were very good, 10 ton capacity. And what we did was we brought the generator into about here and hung it off two wires over here while the crane lengthened the wire that it brought it in on to 8 meters so that it wouldn't catch the hook anywhere in the engine room as it moved. Then we took a so we, we took a wire from here to here and dragged the whole generator across and down in through this gap. Now this gap only provided a, about 20 centimeters total on either side of the generator between these two big beams. Then after having gone from here, it eventually hung directly below the crane, again, here. So it was like that, there. And the wire ran around a little sheave over here to prevent it snagging on the ship's side, on the, on the sky, side of the skylight. Once it hung there, we went, and if you look at it there, this is the same position here. Like that. And it was hanging from the crane. Then we hooked on this block and the block directly behind it so that it was two wires going down onto the generator and then from these two as well. The two that were one behind the other there. Of course we also had to make a lot of modifications here. We had to remove an exhaust from here and a catwalk from here and uh, do a lot of removing also, a lot of the engine was removed from this area here. Then slowly we moved the generator across by slacking on this one and heaving on these ones, well, slacking on these as well, and then until it hung directly below these two over here. Once it was there, we hooked on these two blocks. There's two blocks here in a storeroom and in the storeroom, we cut holes in the deck so that the wire would come round, and then we dragged it slowly round to here. We concentrated mainly on the big engine because it was the heaviest. We could do less makeshift work with it. Although we also had to put in the bed plate and the big armature. And the armature was wider than this, and the bed plate was longer than this. But because they were slightly lighter, we could afford to put in a little more makeshift blocks and tackles. And uh, so we finally got it all the way down. It was a lot of work, but we, a lot of uh, thinking, a lot of nervous tension. But uh, we really enjoyed it, and we got it down yesterday. Thank you.